Hi, I'm Helena and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about fabric shops in Sydney uh, slash Australia. So perhaps maybe you want to come to Australia or perhaps you're new to sewing. Then this is information for you. Hopefully one day when the you know what thing that's affecting everybody in the world, hopefully one day in the future we will be able to travel. So perhaps maybe if you're coming to Australia two, three years in the future, or you just like to know what we have, I'll be talking about some of my favorite fabric shops in Sydney slash Australia. So the first one, which is self-explanatory if you already live in Australia, and that's Spotlight. If you live in another country, somewhere like the UK or America, our equivalent of say Minerva Cross in, in the UK, or perhaps maybe Joanne's in America, or maybe Mood Fabric, but I think Joanne's looks more similar to the vibe that Spotlight has. So it's basically a big chain retailer and they actually don't just sell fabric, they sell craft supplies and homewares and bedding and stuff. So it's actually quite a good place if you want to get a few other things besides just fabric. So they'll have all like the trims, the quilting fabric, they have cotton, jersey, they have a large selection. You usually be able to find most fabrics there that um, you want, but sometimes they're not really in the print you want or there's just not quite there. So then maybe you want something specific. I'm on these new pills and it's like making my mouth super dry. So I just feel like... Side note. <laughs> Basically Spotlight is just a big chain store. So you'll find them all around Sydney. I have visited a few. Some of them I like more than others. It seems as though they're more organized or the layout is just better or it's more tidy more often. So I gravitate to going to those ones. I do like the Litcomb store if anyone's been there before. So Spotlight's good for, for a few reasons. Often they'll have sales of up to 40%, sometimes 50%. Usually 30% is quite common. So if you are gonna buy from Spotlight, I would wait for a sale because it's, um, something they do relatively often. Try not to like be caught off guard there because sometimes the fabric there, I'd say the original price is not necessarily always worth what you're getting. The fabrics at Spotlight, I would put them more in a medium category in terms of quality. Like some will be a bit cheaper and nastier, but then there is a few things you can get there that actually are nice. And then most of it sort of sits in the middle. Like it's not too expensive, but it's not extremely luxurious either. So the sort of price range you're looking at at Spotlight, you could get things from $10 a meter to like $40 or $50 a meter. I'd say usually somewhere between 10 and 20 is usually what you end up paying when there's a sale on. I just recently got a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a, it's like a, it's a type of fleece. Um, maybe we'll talk about that in another video, but it's, it's like a polyester fleece, but basically I think that was about $17.50 a meter and original price is $25, but it was currently 30% off. So $17.50 meters is still a bit pricey for me, depending on what you're getting. But what? No, I told Sonny no, I don't want to go. I'm just filming a video. <laughs> I was like, I should have locked it. I'm trying to do this thing where I don't feel super awkward about filming videos when people are home. Because seeing as being locked down, well, the show is opening up a bit more, but people are still working from home. So, I still feel very awkward. So, back to the point. Spotlight, right, that's what we're talking about. So between $10 and $20, sometimes $25 basically. So that's the sort of price range you're looking at. And that's Australian dollars, um, if anybody watches this in a different country. So what's $10 to US dollars? I don't really know. $1 Australian dollar. So do the math, just Google it. So that's basically what I would call your sort of everyday fabrics. So you'll find jerseys, knits, cottons, quilting cottons, fleece. There's a few sort of dance fabric, some glittery, sequency. Also look out if you do go to a spotlight, out, they usually have like a clearance section. They also sell yarn and like I mentioned, all those other things. So if you're into that, kind of like a one-stop shop. So the next one is the Remnant Warehouse. So that's a standalone shop and it is in the, I think it's Alexandria. I'll put all the information below, but they've got like a bright pink label, so it's easy to spot. 
and they basically are what they sound like. They basically have remnants. So a lot of the pieces, at least from my understanding, what people have said and what their website says, a lot of the fabrics they source are basically like the end roll from a designer or leftover rolls from fashion houses that weren't used or I don't know where else they get. There are some fabrics that they sort of carry all the time. They have like, like a standard set of fabrics, like, you know, like plain stretches, plain fleeces. So yeah, they do have a section of fabric that is sort of standard every day, it will say, and they keep ordering. But it does seem like they have a lot of variety of different fabrics coming in all the time. So if you get a fabric there, you may not be able to get it again, if that makes sense. Whereas Spotlight, as I previously mentioned, a lot of the fabrics they will keep at Spotlight. Um, I've seen some fabrics there that I got two years ago that they still have. The Remnant Warehouse, I've been a couple times, but you can also buy it online which I found that's quite handy. And their shipping, if you live in Australia um, or if you live in Sydney, I found it really fast. I haven't ordered anything in the current time of events of the you know what that we won't mention. When I did order it in the past, the shipping was, I'd say it's quite quickly. And um, I was actually kind of impressed because um, a lot of companies are not the best with that. So that store, if you do go inside, they have two sections to the store. There's one side, which is sort of the dance or swimwear stretchy fabrics. So it's sort of like a little part to the shop. You can walk in there and then there's, if you go out there and then you go in, you can go to the other shop and that's sort of their main woven other types of fabrics. And also outside the front of the store, a lot of the time, I don't know if they're still doing it with, you know what, they do have rolls that are clearance rolls a lot of the time and they're usually very cheap so if you do end up one day visiting a sydney um store look out for those the other thing is um i believe if you're a student you get like a 10 percent discount could be wrong don't quote me on that so that's another thing to note if you haven't heard of that website before another one which i hope a lot of people will know and a lot of people probably will know from if you're from australia or new zealand perhaps but there is a shop called the fabric store yes it's literally called the fabric store i do believe they have a store in america somewhere it's like la or new york a store in surrey hills in sydney um they do believe they have other stores um i'll link them below and i can link their store information so if you live in other cities you probably already know about this one but if you're from overseas you might not know they mainly sell i'd say fabrics of a higher quality um, and sort of at, at that a little bit more than Spotlight because you can get um, linens and I believe, oh, and merino wool. Yeah, so it says um, in regards to the premium merino wool, it says this fabric is knitted from ZQ, which I'm, ZQ? I'll have to click that and on New Zealand something, certified mer merino and produced just for us in our range and exclusive colors. Oh, so it's, a, it's, it's linked to a website called ZQ, which is called um, Ethical Wool. So what ethical really means, I don't know, but what's the difference? Sustainable, ethical, traceable, wool done right, sense for better quality of life for the animals, for our planet, for people. What does ethical really mean? I'm not really sure, but if I was, I guess, to buy wool, then I would look a bit more into that store. Merino wool, and then they have like it in so many colors. It's, it's really nice. And they also have linen, and they have that in so many colors. And it's a really nice, good quality. I felt it before. I don't think I have any on me right now. That's, it's, it's on a little bit more expensive price range, you know, from the 30 to the 60 kind of look. They do have leather if you go into the store, like bits of leather and they're dyed and they look kind of cool. They also do sell a lot of Liberty fabrics. They also do have an online shop. They don't have everything on their online shop that they have in store all the time, but they have a lot. So the next one is Tasudi. So if you live in Australia, you might know about Tasudi already. They are a Australian fabric shop and they also make patterns. They have some really nice patterns if you haven't seen them already. I've made the lowest dress and the, I think it's, is it a Sadie slip dress? And then I've also made a bias cut skirt. Um, so Tasudi is um, pretty expensive. So they have bridal fabrics, they have like brocades and what's that one which um, mental blank, 
use it on coats like thick Chanel cocoa coat like think that I can't what's that fabric can't think they, they have really a lot of different fabrics they have different jerseys and such as well they definitely are on the pricey end so if you were to buy something from Tasudi, make sure that you've made uh, the pattern or whatever you're going to make, make sure you've made a draft in a cheaper fabric before so that you know it's gonna turn out the way you like it. Because these fabrics can be upwards of $80. They did used to have two stores in Sydney. Um, I'm not sure if they have one in Melbourne, I will look that up. They might actually have one in Melbourne. But they did used to have two, unfortunately they closed the Chatswood store, Chatswood store, so there is a store in Surrey Hills, which is quite near the previous shop, the fabric, fabric store. So yeah, this is definitely something if you really want to make something nice that's going to be very special. Or maybe you're just rich, so it's not a problem for you. I am broke. So I have bought a few fabrics from them before um, and I've bought some buttons and uh, little uh, haberdashery type things and they've never let me down. Uh, oh actually I did make a, I can overlay a clip of dress, the Doris dress by Sew Over It. So I made that and it was like a stretch type crepe fabric, can't remember what it's called but yeah it's like a crepe textured fabric but with stretch but in a ponty kind of weight. So the next one out of the ones that I like is Greenfields and so that one is in the same area where these two previous ones that I was speaking about to Sudi and The fabric store, but it's more of a I don't know what you call it commercial Industrial store so I found this one or I looked more into it when I was doing my fashion degree or the teacher introduced us really so you can go in and you have to look at a bunch of sample books and you can get like all these different fibers in I mean fabrics in different fibers in different colors and each book is sorted by fiber or type of fabric so there's about like four or five books and then you look through it and then they get it and then they cut it but you do have to get a pay a cutting fee like in additional to the meterage these ones I'd say are usually not that expensive you know from the 10 to 20 similar to spotlight um, some cheaper than that some more expensive depending on obviously the fiber and what sort of material but this is sort of like if you want plain fabric or you want a certain type of silk or you want a lot of something but it's, it's interesting to look they also have I think it's below the top level but below the top level they have like a button haberdashery. I'm not sure what the minimums with that. I think you have to buy a whole bunch as it is, you know, more of a commercial shop. Supposedly you're not meant to like go, be able to go in and like go behind. You're meant to like look at the books and be like, I want this one and they go and grab it. They let us go and look at the fabrics and like touch them and stuff. So maybe it just depends on who's helping you that day. I don't really know. I'm not sure if they sell online. They do have a website which you can view their fabrics. So perhaps if you were going to Surrey Hills, you could hit up all of those as shops. You could the fabric store, Tsudi, Greenfield. So these are the, one, the ones that are my favorite. I have seen some people talk about some fabric shops in Marrickville, like there's a Marrickville Road and there's a few different fabric shops there. So perhaps maybe if you're watching this in the future and one day you might be able to travel to Sydney, maybe Google and look more into the Marrickville fabric shops in Sydney because I don't know enough really to speak about that because I've never actually visited them. So those are my favorite, the ones that I sort of go around, that's usually where I go to. I'll also mention some fabric shops that you can buy online that aren't necessarily in Australia or they are in Australia but they're an online website. So if you live in Australia, which I'm sure a lot of you watching may do, you may know about Minerva Crafts because it's a very big website and it's very popular. But I actually didn't know about it until I believe the YouTube channel Kittenish, Kittenish Behavior or something. How can I not remember her name? What the hell? So I'm following her on um, Instagram. I'll link a link of YouTube below. You probably follow her too, you never know. I had never heard of Minerva Craft before and she, I kept hearing her talk about Minerva Crafts and oh, I got this fabric from Minerva Craft or I got this or, and speak about it more. And so I googled it and I looked into it and I was like wow this is a really good website because 
even if you live in Australia. They do ship to Australia and if you order over a certain amount, usually free, and if you were to buy fabric from this website, you probably would be wanting to buy a few. They also do do samples. I have got samples before, but obviously you don't have to wait for them to be delivered. The samples took longer than the fabric usually. I don't know what that is. So what I find this website really good for is it's kind of the same sort of price range as Spotlight or maybe a bit more, but and then a bit less as well. And you can always find any fabric there, any fabric that you can think of, you could probably find it on Minerva Crafts. This may be totally not good information for you because you buy from Minerva Craft all the time, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's plenty of people out there who live in Australia who don't know about this website, or maybe have just started to sew. But yeah, they also do have uh, something called the Minerva Blogger Network which I am also a part of, and many other sewing vloggers are, which it would be really great if Spotlight did something similar to that, but they don't, so see how long they last. Um, hey, they send me fabric, like they send me a list of fabric that I can choose from, and then I make it, they send it to me, and then I make something, and then I make a blog post about it, and that's that, and I also show it here. I found this to be really useful for me because when I first joined I wasn't sewing as much and it was kind of like something that kept me um, accountable and that sounds stupid but like as in it was I was finding it hard to motivate myself to sew so if I got this fabric then I would be like well I have to do this and I still liked sewing I just found it difficult to motivate myself. So um, I'll link um, if I can find my blog posts. Um, I've only got a few because it's only recently in the past couple of months. Um, if I can find them on their website I'll link them below. And there's a few other online shops that I have bought from in the past. I get these two mixed up. There's one called Super Cheap Fabric and one called Damn Cheap Fabric. I think I've ordered from Super Cheap Fabric before. They are what they sound like. Um, they have super cheap fabric. It's not necessarily the best quality, but you can find some interesting things on there. So one fabric, I'm gonna be truly honest, or fabric shop, sorry, that I don't really like that much. It's Lincraft. There used to be a Lincraft semi nim to me. It closed down as there was a spotlight in that area. So Lincraft is basically just Spotlight, but worth. I hate to say that. I've been to the one in Parramatta. It's okay. The vibe is off. I don't know what it is, but you just don't feel good going in there. The fabric, similar quality to Spotlight. Worth, similar price. Just don't really vibe with Lincraft. If you like Lincraft, sorry. It's just not me. Another one, which I just thought I'd add in here because, you know, perhaps if you're coming to Sydney one day or you live near the area and you didn't know, there's a something called, it's like Hobby Sew. I think they also do online. I've never actually been inside. I think it's in Hornsby, Hobby Sew. I, I, I hope I'm right with the name. One I don't really know about. I haven't really ordered anything from them, so I can't really comment. I just thought I'd add it in there so you know about it. So, which would I say is my absolute favourite? I really do like the fabric store. Even though it's a little bit more on the pricey side, the quality of their fabrics is actually quite good and the price at the point that they're doing it at is quite reasonable. I haven't bought anything from them recently because um, I have enough fabrics. We'll talk about that in another video. I don't have a problem. I really don't. I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing. There's nothing under there. We're just... Oh, um, what's that, Helena? Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing in there. There's, there's no fabric. There's definitely not fabric there at all. 